Okay, so uh, right now we're gonna start putting back the pistons in this 6V92. Uh, right here we put our new bearing in. Um, what we're using is this ultra slick Pentax. It's uh, really good for a engine lube uh, field. So I've got the uh, new pistons and the new cylinders. Got our ring on. Brand new rings. Don't use your old rings. Um, we got our bearings up here. We're ready to go in. The tang or the notch always goes the blower side on a 6V92. You get these turn around backwards right here. You turn those around backwards, the engine's not going to last for very long. And it's got to be the same as what you have on the piston here. All, all facing towards the blower. That's left bank and right bank. So Make sure that's right. Make sure you get the proper uh, bearings are marked upper and lower on the back side of the bearings. Make sure that you got the uh, lower on the lower and the upper on the upper. Uh, they are offset a little bit, as you can see right here. So don't think you've done anything wrong, but they're, they're made to be offset just a, a slight bit. Same as on your rod there. All right, we got it all cleaned up. As you can see over here, we uh, installed the the new uh, O-rings for the uh, water right there, because this is all cooled by water right here around this cylinder. So all these holes in here are actually your coolant that comes in here, cools outside of your cylinder. This is our first piston that we installed. Right now we got it up on high dead center on the very top on that crank right there. Uh, it's only 12 inches on your from your uh, top of your piston to the bottom of the rod so that's the reason I put it up on top whenever I install this and we put the rod down on the crank and then I'll have somebody rotate the um, somebody's gonna rotate the engine over you have to take a block of wood or a hammer and make sure that piston is following down with the rotation. If not, your rod will come off of your crank and you possibly could uh, have some damage there to your liner. We broke a liner one time because the rod came off. And um, so you don't want to have that happen or anything. But make sure again, if somebody's rotating in the down position for you to bolt up your rod cap you're up here with something soft, like this rubber in, tapping on the piston down as they're rotating. Very important process, don't forget that process. And when you get it all the way in the down position to where you can get your hand in there and you feel comfortable with putting a rod cap on, uh, then you uh, bolt it up. And then after that, make sure that you have eight thousandths of an inch between the rods. So you put a feeler gauge right here, eight thousand inch. Uh, between the this rod and the next rod that's going beside it to make sure we got the clearance 70 pounds of torque on your uh, Rod note nuts there. So pretty much it. So we've got five more to do it's taking about maybe 30 30 minutes a whole We're taking our time make sure we do everything right Everything's nice and clean before we put it together um, So that's it Stay tuned for more videos for different section. We'll end up putting the head on. We'll take a video of that. Watch out for the uh, head video and the cooler, which the cooler is going to go here, and then the blower. We'll also make a video of that. Thank you.